Okay. Okay. So today's build plan will be building this TBS Source One. Just the frame. That's all. That's step one. Just building the frame. Before we do that, I'm gonna take the opportunity to open this, dump it all out, sort it out because there's many, many, many pieces that are inside here. All right. Let's just dump it out now. We. It's like 52 pickup, but they're all in like little plastic bags, which make everything much more organized. All right, so let's get it all sorted out. And then I'll give you an overview of what comes in the bag and one of these little TBS Source 1 V5 packages, all right? Okay, so what we have in the bag is basically we have four arms, two camera plates, uh, one center locking block, two bottom plates, one battery pad, and one top plate, the frame screws, and the frame standoffs. So now that we have it all laid out on the desk here, I would say let's start off with the base because the base is where the foundation is. And if you get the base wrong, your, your, your frame is basically wrong. All right, so we'll start off with the base. First, you need this half of the base. These are, this is the back of the car, so this is where your Vista or whatever VTX you're gonna be running will sit. Um, and your antenna will be sitting here as well. Um, this will be the front. You know it's the front because there's the two slots up here for the camera plates to go in. So these are the camera plates that I'm talking about. These will basically slide in like this. Like that. So what you're going to need is your four arms. Uh, you're definitely going to need your two bottom plate pieces. And at the top here, you'll see some screws. And there are three different size screws that you get here. The very long ones very medium sized ones and the very short one. So I'm just gonna get a screw holder, put it all in there just so it's organized. So the screws that we'll be using for the bottom plate will be these medium sized screws for the bottom plate. And at the same time, because we are building the bottom plate, we do not need any of these standoffs yet. So we'll also put them inside our little screw holders. All right, so if you're at this point in the build, it, uh, some people have told me that you do need your stack screws. So luckily I have my speedy B here at 405. So we need four of these stack screws. So that's going to be the rest. To begin, we'll build the bottom plate. So what you're going to do is take the front portion of the bottom where the camera sits. And that's going to be these two slots right here. What you're going to do is you're going to use this. I'm going to call this the chopper cross because I, that's what the shape reminds me of. You're gonna put that right in the middle here. So it doesn't matter how it goes because it's all symmetrical. So as long as it lines up with holes, you're fine. We're just gonna put that in the middle here. Perfect. Now you're gonna take your arms. So you wanna match the two similar pieces in the front and the two similar pieces in the back. So right now these two match. We're gonna do that and that. Okay, so Right, right now you'll notice that they're like what I told you before, there's a much more uh, relaxed angle and much more aggressive angle. You want the, the relaxed angle uh, pushing to the front. So this is gonna be the front of the quad where the camera sits. So you're gonna want to put it in like this. That's the first arm over here. Similarly, the same thing. You'll notice the much more um, relaxed side and a much more aggressive side you put the relaxed side on the inside to the front like just like that just leave this out so just be like this and just repeat for the other four arms okay so after you get the arm situated like this this is just like a template right now so basically you're just going to slide this back just off of it just like that so you retain the shape uh just so you don't have to go again figure out what what goes where and where so we just keep it that way take your front half of the bottom plate right you'll see that there are um four diag four diagonal kind of screw holes and this is where you need to decide what kind of stack you're going to be using so with the speedy b f405 uh it's a 30 by 30 stack meaning it's going to be fitting on the outside holes it's not the smaller ones meaning our stack screws these longer ones will be on the outside holes when the time comes just so that the ESC can fit on this. So we're gonna be using these medium sized screws on the inside portion here. So if you were using uh, some other ESC or some other flight controller that is um, smaller, you would want 
like say it was 20 by 20 then you would use the the middle uh holes for the longer screws which are these larger stack screws but and then you would put the medium size screws on the outside so we're just gonna thread one of those in there right and whichever hole you thread first just take that arm and just transfer it straight there so we're gonna transfer it like this so there's two holes drilled on the arm and basically the back one lines up with the back hole and the front one lines up with the front so just slide it on the back hole like this right and because these are freshly cut they're they're not going to want to go in like really nicely you're obviously going to need your screwdriver for this but just hold it there nicely and screw it in so they use a two millimeter hex and that's what you're going to use to screw these in so we're just going to hold it like this and then screw it in you might feel some tightness which is perfectly okay because the screw is trying to dig in so dig into the carbon and hold it there just don't screw it all the way in as you want it to be flexible as we have to adjust the other four arms so that they're symmetrical so just screw it in as much as it until it's flush with the top here so whichever side you are doing um just transfer the rest just like that okay so this is kind of hard now because you guys you kind of have to hold it uh, just like this and line up the holes and fill in the other screw there you go remember use the middle ones and screw it in and then if you line it up correctly you'll soon feel the screw uh, coming up through the hole which I feel it now perfect so just keep it keep it not tight just keep it uh, semi so like just leave a little bit don't screw it all the way in so that it can still somewhat move now just repeat it on the other side the same thing okay so now that you've successfully completed the four screws and you left them all kind of flush to the uh, top of the arms just continue to leave them like this so now that you have some of a shape like this you have half of a quadcopter half plate and stuff like that now it's time to use the back half of this source one so what you want to do is push put the front of the quadcopter facing away from yourself take this back plate here with the raised uh, uh, bolts or nuts whatever you want to call it and you should just rest them like this so basically the bolts are going to be facing up towards you and the bottom flushed parts are going to be in the bottom here when, once we're going to do this we're going to hold it in like this so we're going to hold it down like this and then screw in these four uh, screws in a like a cross directional pattern so then we don't apply too much pressure to one side and so on. them all the way yet just barely snug and just leave them like that as later when we finish it we'll tighten it all together all right let's do the other remaining three holes perfect they're not fully in there's still some space to wiggle stuff so you you want to leave it just like that so there's some room to shift if you need it because Next, we're going to take the stack screws, so the four long ass screws that I said, like these, the long ass screws, we're going to drive them up into the outer hole, because that's where the stack screws sit. We should, we should have all four screws in at the same time making kind of like a cage and this is where your flight stack and ESC will, will sit. Perfect. Now that you got your screws in like this, make sure all eight screws that you have here are tight. Remember to go in a cross directional patterns. Now we're going to move on to step two is now going to be 
putting in the standoff. So that is the side is out. That is these uh, tall little cylindrical pieces here. We're gonna be putting these in on the t on the plate so then we can mount our top plate in. Um, granted, because I'm filming this and I'm kind of filming a build tutorial for you guys, I'm gonna be putting together the frame without any components inside. But if you guys were to build this straight up and you know you didn't have to split it up into parts or whatnot, you would uh, just put on your flight controller from here. Uh, sorry, your ESE, your flight controller, your motors. You would do everything here without assembling the frame fully. So first things first, get all your standoffs here. You'll notice that you have four long ones, so that's these ones, and then four short ones. So the reason why you have such a disparity in this, where normally you would have four equally sized ones, is because this is a top and bottom base plate. So the shorter ones, these ones, will go in the back here because it's on the top level and it doesn't need as much height to level off for the top plate and then the bottom the bottom plate the front will need the bigger uh, frame tube so that it can uh, have the same height so that the top plate can be balanced so to mount these we're also going to be using the screws provided so we're just going to slide out a screw tray and we're not going to be using the long one we're going to be using the many many short ones that we have right so we're going to be using one short one for each uh, frame tube and that's where we're going to go. So uh, for me, the easiest way that I have came to do this is just, you know, hold it like this and then hold a frame tube. It's It doesn't matter which side you put on, they're both the same thing. And you're just going to hold it in like this and screw it in. You're gonna put the, the screw up like this in like halfway throughout the frame or something. And then you're gonna stick the standoff on top of it until it gets seated, push down, and just screw it in. Just like that. And hold tight. All right, so we're just gonna repeat that for the other one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The other side. you're finishing installing all the frame tubing which are these black things and they're all going down and they're kind of tight um, you want to tighten them out all down just like just until they're snug don't overdo it again uh, these screws are really really easily to strip from what I've heard online but now that you're done you have a semi-built frame drum so now what you're gonna do is camera plates which are these little uh, rectangle pieces here so what we're gonna do with these is we're just gonna slide them in the very front here it's really hard to get them mixed up because the back here doesn't have any plates so you just slide it through so it doesn't really make sense only the front here does so you're gonna want to pay attention when you put in these ones as if you put it wrong your camera angle will be really misaligned and it's just gonna cause further problems right so what you're going to do here is this um, smiley face, whatever you call it, if you see it, there's a smiley face. See the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. That's going to go to the very front. So you want the smiley face to be facing up like that. So that's going to go at the very front, just like that. And because it's fresh carbon, it's going to fit kind of terribly. So you're just going to have to play around with it until it slides straight in. Just like that. Okay, and then the other side, the same thing, smiley face. So just make sure it's like that and it's always at the front. This way, when you're putting in your camera, you can adjust it up and down so you can have like different angles uh, depending on how fast you want to fly and how much um, forward tilt you want. Okay, so we're just going to balance it like that and now comes the top plate which is going to be like this so the u shape is the front where the camera will sit or will where the camera will be able to fold up if you're going that far which maybe you will maybe you won't i personally won't because i don't fly with that much angle so either way the u shape is your front the uh but the butt of the quad is the one that is kind of blocked off here so what you're going to do is with the remaining small screws, you're going to take these 
and you're just going to dry them in each hole on the top plate just like that. Okay, so there you go. That is step three or two. Step three is done. The top plate is secure, the camera plates are in. It's looking like an actual quad, right? It's the X design. There's a top plate and a middle plate, just like that. Front, uh, top view, back view, etc. All right, so now that you're done, that is the first major step of this build process is actually building the jigsaw that we call this frame. That's the first hurdle, you, you've made it, congratulations. You're now one step closer to actually having a full flying quadcopter drone, whatever you wanna call it. You're one step closer to your FPV dreams. 